Start way about here is Sela Nunes coming in at plus 195 against Victoria Dudakova, sitting at minus 195. Over under two and a half rounds, minus 134. The over plus 130 for the under. Dudakova making her UFC debut after her fight on the contender series, which was, uh, I mean, impressive. I, I would say very impressive because she came in there as a plus 200 underdog against, you know, a real girl. In uh, was it Maria Silva who was under mm-hmm. eight and oh, and a uh, big underdog? She goes in there, wins the first round, and then in the second round, she looks like she blows her knee out. And they almost have to, to stop the fight, they have the, the doctors check her out. And uh, she's like, No, I'm good, I, c- I can keep going. And with a bad knee, she goes out there and gets a takedown and secures the, the third round. So to win by 29 28. And she gets a contract, and she's getting Estella Nunes here, who has not had the greatest UFC run. Um, but she is dangerous in that first round. And as we saw last week, if you're dangerous in that first round, you could knock anybody out with uh, D. Gome <laughs> against Yasmin Hauregi coming in as a big underdog and getting it done in the first round. But due to Kova, undefeated, 24 years old, so fairly young. And uh, if she doesn't get that takedown, might be we haven't really seen too much on the feet from her because in the contender series fight, she was just looking for the takedowns and smother pretty solid grappler. Uh, Estella 0 and 3 in the UFC, she's got finished twice once by submission, one by ground and pound against Yasmin Haregi. And uh, the fight against Sam Hughes, she could have won that fight, but yeah, she did not. And, uh, and that makes her 0 and 3. And it, she just kind of faded as the, the fight went on. And she got a point taken in the third round due to an eye poke. So that didn't help her out. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty chalky number for due to Kova being her UFC debut. And we've kind of, I don't want to say made a, a living, but we've, we've done pretty good fading, you know, debuting women's fighters at, you know, heavy chalk. So. I look at this one like if there's an opportunity on Estella Nunez, uh, it could be there. It could absolutely be there because she's probably her last fight on her contract. Maybe she needs to go out there and get a win uh, to get it extended, or maybe they just don't even care to extend it at this point. But women's MMA, dog money, not a bad deal. What are you thinking? Yeah, there's a couple things here. Like you look at uh, Carnalosi taking her down, taking the Stella Nunez down five times and then finding a submission. And you think if Carnalosi's doing that to her, um, due to Kova should be able to as well. But the lack of higher level competition for due to Kova makes me a little bit nervous coming in here as a big favorite for her UFC debut against Nunez. Like you said, man, she's dangerous in the first round. She comes out swinging. She puts a lot of volume on girls. Um, she is dangerous. She is dangerous on the feet. And if uh, if Dudakova can't get in on that takedown, I think Estela Nunez um, is going to grow in confidence as the first couple of rounds go on. We've just seen this story too many times, man. UFC debuters coming into the UFC with some hype, undefeated for for the women's divisions at least, um, undefeated coming in there, and then they just get beat by a girl who maybe doesn't have the best record in the UFC, but does have that experience and knows how to, um, you know, just fight her own game plan, stick within herself, and, and find a win. I'm not saying that's going to happen here because Estela Nunez isn't one of these um, girls with a ton of UFC experience. She doesn't have a UFC win yet, but she has been fighting some decent fighters. I mean, Yasmin Hauregi, we just saw her get knocked out, but before that, she's looked phenomenal. Um, Carnalosi, good grappling, and Sam Hughes, who uh, kind of beats these girls coming into the UFC who are undefeated too, so... Um, yeah, it is pretty pretty sketchy. I think there is value to play on Estela Nunez in the first couple of rounds. If she does get taken down early, um, I, I think Dudakova could could have a lot more success once you get that confidence of getting that first takedown. But it's a sketchy fight, man. Uh, for the pick, I'm going to pick Dudakova, but I'm not going to be surprised in the least bit if Estela Nunez comes out here and shocks some people. Yeah, um, I'm the same way. I think Dudakova should be able to get the takedowns. Uh, if she can do it on one leg, she should be able to do it with two legs. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, Nunez could always clip her. She's got some decent hands, especially early. Uh, we saw her, her drop Power Eggy in the first round. So yep. maybe she could take some of that into this one. But yeah, for the pick, I got to go do to Cobra.